Today we're going to take a look at how to use non-directional beacons in the hind. This is performed with the ARC 15 radio set found on your left panel. If we hop over to the F10 map, you can find non-directional beacons scattered across the map. And these are what we're going to be tuning into. So if we zoom in on this one, we can see that it is 740 kilohertz, and it has a Morse code of Victor Mike. This code is transmitted over the frequency which helps you identify the beacon that you're listening to. This comes across in Morse code. So, for example, if we wanted to navigate from Galenzik to Makeop, we could take one of two possible routes. So we could say, I'm at Galenzik, I'm going to tune in 662 and fly to this one, and then we could fly over to the one at Makeop, or we could even just fly across these two beacons and then fly to Makeop, or down the coast, wherever we want. These are you can just treat them as fixed waypoints. You just tune into them and you can fly toward them. You'll get the bearing from your location to the beacon. But you do not get any range. So when you overfly the beacon, you're going to have to keep an eye out for your needles reversing and then flick to the next beacon. That's why we have two channels on the radio set, so we can pre-prepare the next one. Today we're going to be using it to land at Makeop in poor weather. So we can see here we've got a couple of beacons. We've got an outer beacon and an inner beacon. We also have them on the opposite side. Now you might notice that the frequency is the same on both sides, but the Morse code is not. So we can use this to identify which direction we're traveling into. So we've got Romeo Kino and Romeo, and Delta and Delta Golf. So what we're going to do is we're going to tune channel 1 to 289 and channel 2 to 591. We'll then listen to the Morse code to find out which beacon we're being brought in on. When we know that, we then know which direction the runway is going to be and we can set our course. So let's head back into the cockpit. Okay, so our radio set is down on the left, so let's close up on that. Okay, so we've got our radio panel. We've got the volume, we've got the channel selection, and the on-off switch. So we're going to tune our first channel to the outer beacon, which was 289. So we'll grab the outside of the dial. Let's rotate that one to 2. Inside to 8. And the absolute inside the center to 9. 289. So now we've got the outer beacon programmed into channel 1, and on channel 2 we're going to program the inner beacon, which was 5, 9, and 1. So now with channel 1 selected we can have the outer beacon, and with channel 2 selected we've got the inner beacon. And now we're going to set the antenna to our compass. This activates the antenna, starts listening, and it will transmit the directional information on our heading indicator found on the instrument panel. In addition to that, we can listen in on the radio by switching the radio selector knob here over to the ARC-15. And if we turn up the volume on both panels and listen, So that's short, long, short, long, short, long, which if we look up the Morse code for, we'll find that it is Romeo Kino, RK. So we'll go back to the map, and we're going to find which beacon had RK, and it is the Northern Beacon, so we know we are coming here with that beacon, and then of course we're going to be flying this one, and then onto the runway. So that means the runway heading is going to be 2, 2. So we can jump over to our heading indicator, and set up the course nice and easily for reference as we go forwards. So... We now know the direction we need to go to find the airbase and the outer marker. We can also set our heading indicator here, or course rather, by rotating the knob. So if we rotate this to our runway heading, which was 220, just fine tune that, we now have a reference on the direction to our runway. So if we can line up this needle and this needle together on top of each other, we know we are flying towards the runway. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fly toward the outer beacon, radio channel 1, and then when we reach it, we're going to switch to the inner beacon, radio channel 2, and then we should find the airbase as we pass over radio beacon 2. Okay, so we need to make a turn to the right to fly toward our beacon. So if I take off active pause, and make a turn to the right, 
Now as you turn and manoeuvre the aircraft you are going to find that needle pointing toward the beacon is going to jump around a bit and get unsettled from time to time so you're just going to fly stable and wait for it to calm down. So you see there we've jumped it around without stopping. So as it calms down we're... there we go, that's a bit better. Roughly flying toward the beacon however our course doesn't line up with the direction to the beacon so I'm going to correct that by flying 90 degrees to the right until the two needles meet. So we'll keep 90 degrees right of our intended course we'll maintain this position and we will watch the needle here get slowly closer and closer to the same heading as our course if the drift is in the opposite direction of course we'll just fly in the opposite direction so that's nice and simple this may take a few minutes depending on how far away we are however so let's just fast forward for a moment Okay, so you can see the needles are more or less lined up, so we're going to turn back toward our beacon now on our course. And we should be on roughly runway heading, heading toward the beacon. So we'll make our turn. So a bit further. I'm going to deliberately steer a bit to the left to correct for the fact we had turned and overshot, I imagine. Settle down the aircraft, wait for the needles to calm down. And we can see they are roughly aligned. So now we're going to carry on flying toward the outer beacon, which is course set on channel 1. When we reach it, we're going to switch to channel 2. So this is nice and simple. So you can see here the needle has jumped over, we just let it settle down since we're manoeuvring. I think we just flew past the beacon, and in fact, yes we have, you can see the needle is now pointing behind us, so I'm going to jump to active pause quickly. And we are going to set the second radio channel here, for the inner marker. And you can note the needle now flicks back round to the front, and that's our heading. So we will unpause, and we'll make our turn toward it. We'll let the needle settle down as we stop manoeuvring and in a few minutes we should be at the runway and there we are you can see the runway just off to our right as we've just passed the beacon so now we can simply come in and land So that's a quick guide on how to use the NBD non-directional beacons with the ARC-15 radio set to navigate. Don't forget you can use this as simply a beacon to fly toward on the map, or you can use it like I did to land in low visibility at a runway. I hope you enjoyed, and take care!